Welcome back to the channel guys. In this video, we're going to take a look at what socket bases you should be keeping an eye out for while you're farming, why they are valuable, and what stats they need to have on them to make them valuable. Now if you don't already know this, a white item that already has stats on it and sockets, if you put a rune word into that item, it will inherit the base stats as well, and therefore you can get some crazy powerful rune words out of it. And we're going to take a look at all of those right now. So the first thing we're going to start things off with are armors. And for armors, typically the normal and the exceptional ones aren't really that desired. Um, maybe for exceptional, the mage plate with three slots can be a little bit looked after just because of its super low requirements. But ideally, you want to look at the elite ones. And as you can see here, there's light, medium, and heavy. Uh, what this really means is that if the light armor compared to a medium armor, will uh, let you have a little bit more move speed. So having a medium armor, I believe, reduces your move speed by 5%. Putting a heavy, I believe, is 10%. And because of that reason, the light ones are mostly desired. And it will always be with either three or four sockets that you want to get them as, as those are the most powerful rumors that you can make out of them. Uh, typically, if you're looking for a superior base, you want it to have increased uh, defense as well as increased durability. Any other superior stats isn't detrimental to the already white base, but those are the ones that will be most desired. That being said, even with no stats, some of these can be like very much sought after. As far as the medium and heavy ones go, typically you want them uh, for your mercenary, if anything. And just as you can see here, some of them have really high strength requirements, and usually mercenaries might be able to meet them, like the Sacred Armor of 230 or 230 on the, sorry, 232 or 230 on a Shadow Plate can be a little iffy, unless your Merc's close to like level 99, plus you can get strength bonuses from the other pieces of gear, but ideally uh, you want these to be ethereal, and you want them with four sockets, as most mercenaries will use a Fortitude. Uh, treachery could be a thing, so that you could get them with three sockets and they might have a little bit of value. And again, if they are ethereal, um, the superior things you want on them is the increased defense. Durability won't matter anymore, and I don't believe that can even roll if the item is ethereal. Actually, no, it can. But for a mercenary, that the ethereal item doesn't uh, matter so much. Moving on to axes. So here, the only really desirable ones um, for axes are the Berserker Axe. Uh, or Spike, I don't really think so, but you, with the Berserker Axe, it's usually preferred for a Breath of the Dying. So typically, or a Beast, five sockets for Beast, six for Breath of the Dying. Uh, for Breast, you want it non-ethereal. For Breath of the Dying, you want it ethereal. And again, uh, preferably for the Spear Enchant. You want uh, enhanced damage and increased durability. Same for the two hands. Uh, the ones you do would probably want are either a Champion Axe or a Glorious Axe. And again, it would be Ethereal for something like a Breath of the Dying. Otherwise, they're not overly desired. A Claw is when we get to the one of the interesting ones because... Depending on your build, if you're not martial arts, honestly, anything goes that has the ability to have three sockets. But typically, you want the elite ones as well. And the ones that are probably most desired are going to be Swaya or Scissor Swaya. But any of them are nice as long as they have bonuses to skills that are used for certain builds so for like martial arts it'd be like phoenix strike something like that or for trap assassins if they give bonus to traps is uh what you want to give get the uh, throw on your bases on a superior item and ideally you want three uh sockets on them so the war fist and the battle cest is probably not as desired as the rune words for these are typically for three socket uh, claws. <clears throat> Clubs is one that's not desired at all. These are the ones nobody really wants them. As you can see, most of them have two. Some of them have three. And most high level rune words uh, do need more than that. As well as like, there's nothing crazy about their base speed. 
so these you can pretty much completely ignore. The same with hammers, really. Uh, the only ones that could be considered are probably the Ogre Maul or the Thunder Maul. And again, probably something ethereal for like Breath of the Dying is uh, what you would want them for. So they would need to be ethereal and they would ideally need to be have the increased damage on them just for them to be like really worthwhile. Moving on to helmets. So ideally you want three socket helmets and the ones that can really roll are here. Uh, Spired Helm and Corona tend to have slightly higher strength requirements. They're a bit less desired. People prefer either Demon Head or the Bone Visage for something like a Dream. Or, uh, yeah, a Dream. And man, the, other, the name of the other one is really slipping my mind right now. Anyways, three socket uh, base helmets, either Demon Head, Bone Visage, again, with either increased uh, defense or durability is the ones that are most sought after. Maces is the one where you want not the exceptional or the elite quality ones. You ideally, the ones that's looked at for the most is the flail. That's because compared to the knout or the scourge, has a lot less requirements. And it's the only one that can go above three sockets. And you ideally want either four sockets for Heart of the Oak or like five sockets for a Call to Arms. And for this, having a superior one, like I guess the durability could be nice, but it's not really going to increase its value that much more because it doesn't, uh, it's for, for a caster. So like the enhanced damage is not going to do anything for it. Durability will, but it's not like a big deal. Therefore, just a normal either 4-socket or 5-socket flail will have value on its own. So, Spears and Daggers is another one where it's not uh, overly desired. The only thing that you can really want to maybe do something out of is a pike. And again, be something for like a Breath of the Dying, so an ethereal pike would be ideal. Superior with either the enhanced damage and durability. Or sorry, not durability, because if you're making a Breath of the Dying, the durability no longer matters, because it'll be indestructible. You could also use it for, like, a couple other things. For, like, mercenary weapons, I believe they can use a pike. So maybe those could have a little bit of value, but ideally, the pole arms are more so desired than that. And sorry, not, not the, the base pike, but the war pike. I didn't realize I was looking under... Um, Normal there, but you ideally want the War Pike. And then again, for the Amazon ones, if you are doing something, either the Matriarch, Gorilla, Spear, or Pike, ideally the Pike is the one you want. And it could have, again, up to six sockets. Depends on what you're making out of it. Could also get away with having a good one for like four or five. And I believe you can get bonus to Amazon uh, Spear and Javelin skills on it, so those would make the superior base a lot better and a lot more uh, worthwhile. Moving on to missile weapons. So again, you're probably looking at the elite quality bows here. This is the ones you're trying to stand out for. And Hydra Bow and Crusader Bow are the only ones that go up to six sockets. So if you're trying to make something that needs six sockets, those are the only two bases you're really looking out for. Uh, ideally, I would say you're more likely to look for uh, diamond, sorry, diamond bow here, or ward bow, or if you're playing an Amazon, uh, either the matriarch or the grand matron bow, but keep in mind these only do go to five sockets. However, all these can be desired, especially if you're like somebody that's using a one, uh, act one mercenary for like faith and stuff like that. Uh, I don't believe you can put crossbows on mercenaries, so those aren't as desired for those, but you can also make some cool rune words out of them, especially like a Colossus crossbow. Just keep in mind that they are a lot slower than uh, most bows for the most part, and therefore bows are a bit more desired, but you can make them out of either or. Something like a faith is a good example, five sockets... 
So you would either be looking for Colossus Crossbow or Demon Crossbow. Keep in mind, Demon Crossbow, a lot less damage, a lot faster attack speed. Colossus Crossbow, higher damage, a lot slower attack speed. So it depends what uh, what you're really trying to make out of it. Now, Pole Arms is one that's like very can get very expensive and very desirable uh, for the elite ones because a lot of builds use Act Two Mercenaries and a lot of builds would use either like an Infinity on their Mercenary, an Obedience, stuff like that. You can even put a Breath of the Dying on them. In which case, you would need either Greater Poleaxe or Giant Thresher. Out of all of these, the Colossus Vogue, the Thresher, the Cryptic Axe, the Great Poleaxe, and the Giant Thresher are the ones that are desired the most. Now keep in mind, Colossus Vogue has a very high strength requirement, so it's probably desired a bit, a bit less. But, let's say you do get a superior one, it's ethereal, it's perfect for a mercenary, it has increased damage, and it doesn't have any sockets on it. Keep in mind the max socket is 4, so if you take it to Lazarus, it'll always add 4 sockets to it. Same for like a Thresher, it will always add 5 sockets to it. Or a Cryptic Axe, 5, 6, 6 for uh, these two. And again, for all these, you ideally want enhanced damage on a superior version of it. Durability won't really matter because you're probably putting it on your Mercenary anyway. Scepters is another one that's not really desired. Rune words for it aren't great, and you can get better. Um, there's usually much better best-in-slot items than anything you can really build out of a scepter. Shields is another cool one. So when it comes to shields for regular shields, Spirit is such a good rune word. Um, ideally... Four socketed monarchs are the only shield that you're really looking for. You can use these bases for some like three slot um, rune words, but it doesn't really matter. Plus, monarchs a light shield, which makes it so your move speed isn't really encumbered. And it's other than the ward, which is a medium and has a lot of higher strength requirement. Monarchs the only one that can roll four sockets. So ideally, you want this with. Uh, either some increased uh, defense on it or like all resist just something to give you a little bit of a bonus if you're superior and then for paladin shields we again mainly care about these ones right here the elite ones all of these can make very good exile bases honestly there there's a bit of a damage between them but at the end of the day, like if you get any of these with either 45 all res or enhanced damage, uh, they can make a perfect exile. And for Paladin Shields, they're all light. So you don't need to worry about that. Just uh, any of these. Vortex is probably the most desired because it'll have like the highest smite damage. But again, same stats can roll on Sacred Charge, Sacred Road, Lynch, any of these. They all make really great shields. Keep in mind, if you're aiming for an exile, you want an ethereal as well. Preferably not uh, non-ethereal. There's also necromancer like heads for offhands, but uh, again, not really many rune words for these. Plus, they can only roll up to two sockets, so those aren't really desired for uh, socket bases. Same thing with Sorcerer's Orbs. The only ones that can really roll three sockets are Swirling Crystal or Dimensional Shard. And as you can see here, Venom's the only really rune word that requires three sockets that can be put in them when it's not a very good rune word. So don't bother with these. Staffs, on the other hand, especially with the new Obsession rune word, now there's viability for like a War Staff or an Archon Staff or a Rune Staff. Make good Obsession. And you want a bonus to boosted stats that you are using and for sorcerers that could be stuff like bonus to lightning bonus to frozen or blizzard meteor depends on what like it has but any of those could be like desired base stats um on the base on top of having like the six sockets can make a very crazy obsession swords for one hand, crystal swords could be good uh, to make like call to arms, and you would need five sockets, so not six. 
uh, dimensional blade wouldn't be used. And then phase blades are also very much desired just because they're fast attack speed. They can't go up to six sockets. Keep in mind, phase blades are always indestructible. So you roll, you won't roll uh, max durability on them, but you can roll increased damage. But just because they're indestructible, they also cannot roll ethereal. So there's that. Depending what you want to make out of it, it might be better to go with something else for a mercenary if you're trying to get like an ethereal base. And then for the two hand swords, the Colossus Blade is probably one of the most desired ones. Maybe the Colossus Sword can make something out of five of these. Um, and again, not overly desired, but you can make a nice Breath of the Dying out of this. And for Barbarians, they can hold two of them. They can hold two two-handed Colossus Swords. And again, if you're making Breath of the Dying, you want the Material, and ideally with increased maximum damage. And last but not least, we have the wands. And as you can see here, all the wands can roll up to two sockets. So any wand you find, check it out. The idea behind it is you're trying to make the white rune word, which gives three to, I believe, poison and bone skills and two to bone spear. So getting one that already has three to bone spear can pretty much make a crazy white wand that'll give you a grand total of eight to bone spear so that's pretty insane keep an eye out for that again any of these wands doesn't matter which if it can rolls three to bone spear and it's a white wand that's an exceptional white base and it's something that can have a lot of value and that's it for all the bases in diablo 2 that is going to be it for this video guys as always, my social media information is in the video description below. If you need to contact me, I will always try to get back to you as soon as possible. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, consider liking and subscribing to the channel as it helps me out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.